This is the Apple iPad 2 Front Glass and LCD Replacement Guide. Before we start the replacement process, it is important to know several zones which require special care. The first zone is an area around the home button. Be aware of the Wi-Fi antenna which is located to the right of the home button. It is glued underneath the glass and should stay with the main body when the digitizer is removed. Other zones are areas around the web camera, power, and volume buttons. Turn off the device by holding the power button at the top and confirming the shutdown on screen. The front glass is a touch-sensitive digitizer. It is held to the main body with glue. Use a heat gun or a hairdryer to warm up the glue in order to separate the digitizer glass from the main body. Go around the perimeter, applying the heat evenly. Don't hold at one spot for too long as it may damage the device. Do not apply heat for longer than a minute at a time. Place the paper towel under the iPad so that the small pieces of broken glass can be easily collected. Take a knife and start opening the device from the bottom right corner. Do not insert the tool more than a quarter of an inch deep, otherwise you could damage the internal cables. Remove small pieces of glass while moving the knife along the edges of the iPad. Reapply heat to soften the glue as needed. Work your way around the perimeter. Take extra care around the volume and power buttons. Gently remove the piece of digitizer with the camera bracket. Once the top and the right side of the iPad are open, move to the bottom edge and carefully open the bottom side with the knife. Make sure that the Wi-Fi antenna stays with the main body. Once the separation is achieved, open the iPad as a book. Remove strands of glue, which are still holding the digitizer. At this point, we have access to the LCD screen. Take a screwdriver and remove four Phillips screws holding the LCD in place. Lift the screen up and turn it clockwise to get access to the LCD connectors. Use a plastic pick to unglue the cable, open the connector's latches, and gently open the LCD connector. Set the LCD screen aside. Using tweezers, remove the mounting tape from the digitizer's connector. Using a plastic pick, Open the connector's latches. Gently slide out the cable and remove the broken digitizer. There are still some glue and pieces of glass left on the main body. Take extra time to clean the iPad. Flip and gently shake the device to get rid of any tiny pieces of glass. Remove the paper towel. The iPad was dropped from a significant height and one of its corners got bent. To make sure that the new digitizer will fit properly, we have to reshape the corner. In order to do the fix, we need a special vise tool. Place the tool on the damaged corner and turning the knob, reshape the corner. Use a knife if needed. At this point, we can replace the digitizer. Place the digitizer next to the main body and guide the cable into its place. Slide the cable into the connector, making sure that it's aligned properly. Close the video connector's latches. Secure the connector with mounting tape. Take the new LCD screen and place it on the main body and reconnect it to the logic board. Close the video connector's latches. Caution! It is very important not to force any connectors. All connectors are very fragile. Align the LCD with the main body and replace four Phillips screws. Remove all pieces of protective film from the inner edge of the digitizer and the LCD. Close the digitizer, making sure that it is aligned with the aluminum body. Apply some pressure around the perimeter of the iPad. Turn the device on. Remove the protective film from the digitizer. The replacement process is successful.